Hi, everybody. I'm back, and we're going to teach a fun, quick snack today. I'm going to do stovetop popcorn, right? So just classic, good old popcorn. Because I know a lot of people are buying those. Well, first of all, we need snacks, right? I'm all about snacks. Let's have some snacks once in a while. Um, but uh, we have to think about what the, what's in the chemicals that are in those microwavable popcorn bags, those ones that just loft through the whole office and then makes you think like you want some last through your house and then you think you want some there too and then that smell lingers but they're really loaded with just chemicals a lot of those chemicals have been found to do things like um be connected with uh, with cancer or other things like that so we really want to get back to some natural flavors popcorn's very natural so we're just going to teach you how to do it on a stovetop instead of uh, feeling like you need to do it in a microwave or um in one of those air poppers you don't need anything special you just need a pan and some popcorn. I've got a pop, I've got a pan, and I just put in a scoop of coconut oil. I'm using coconut oil today. Then what you do is just put a couple of kernels in the pan and let that get hot. Put the cover on it. We're waiting for those little popcorns to pop. I have a, um, a non-GMO popcorn here. It's these little mighty kernels. I will post the link uh, to Amazon so you guys can see the popcorn I use because I really do think it actually makes a difference, the kind of popcorn you buy. But hey, if you have popcorn in your house, just use what you have because that's what we're doing during this time of lockdown. So now what we're doing is just waiting for that, so waiting for those popcorn kernels to pop. In the meantime, I've got a couple different toppings that I'm going with today. I'm going to do uh, one, I'm doing a nutritional yeast with some extra virgin olive oil. The nutritional yeast gives sort of a cheesiness. So it's not a yeast that has a, you know, an active, it's not an active yeast. It's not going to make anything rise. But if you can see that, that gives sort of a cheesiness flavor. Really great if uh, if you're a vegan or vegetarian because it has that B12 in it. Can you hear? I just heard one kernel pop. Did you guys hear that? Or was I talking over it there? Now I know you heard that one, right? Okay, so now we've got a couple kernels popping, so we just want to make sure we get that oil hot enough to bring in the rest. That's my third one. It just popped. Pour in your popcorn. I have about a third of a cup of popcorn. Now, let's give this a shake. We just want to get those kernels all full of that oil and soaked in there. I'm giving them a nice shape, shake. I'm leaving that top on. I'm letting that heat just really work on those kernels. As soon as it starts popping, I'm actually going to uh, um, uh, take that lid off a little bit and let steam escape. That's going to help your kernels stay nice and fluffy. So we'll let that keep going. Now the first, the first flavoring we're going to do is the nutritional yeast. Second one I'm going to do is a very savory one. I have got chives from the garden. And I found some fresh thyme in the garden. We're going to add some garlic and uh, a little uh, pepper. All right. Now I'm going to give it a little shake. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, break that top so you can see the steam is escaping. It's a great way to just make sure that your, your kernels stay nice and fluffy. So break that a little bit. Not too much that it starts to shoot those kernels out because um, that can be a little haphazard and scary. These are all the little uh, times that I found coming up in my garden. So I've been pulling little time, little fresh thyme leaves off of my thyme. So I've got a bit of that going. And down here I chopped a little garlic. So I have a little chopped garlic. I have a little thyme. I have a little red pepper, little red pepper flakes. I like Aleppo pepper. I have some salt. And then I have just some melted uh, ghee or grass-fed butter if you prefer. Put it come over here, give this a shake once in a while, just mix up that bottom, make sure that nothing's getting stuck on the bottom. Oh, I wish you guys could just smell this. Like, you don't even need movie popcorn anymore. You just make your own popcorn at home. Oh, it's the best way. I've got the coconut oil so it deals with high heat, the extra virgin olive oil for afterwards, and the brass fed butter. All really good, good fats. The entire system, including your nervous system, which is important for your immune system as well, too, right? 
Now here's the tricky part, when to take the popcorn off. When you get about three seconds between pops, I like to come in, let's give it another shake, make sure I don't hear anything else popping. And now let's get uh, that popcorn into a bowl. So I'm just pouring these into a bowl. You guys can see me over here. There we go. I got a little extra. I could have I could have uh, had another bowl of this stuff. Okay, first one, uh, first one I'm going to do is the nutritional yeast. I am squirting with my olive oil. This is my extra virgin olive oil. This is the one we don't really like to cook with, at least not anything very um, high heat. This is a very low heat. A little Himalayan pink salt, and then we're going to go that nutritional yeast. It's going to taste a little bit cheesy. There we go. And we'll just give that a little mix. I'm going to do it over the bowl so I don't lose anything. Oh, yeah. Mm. Want some? <laughs> okay, that's our nutritional yeast. Yum. That's salty with that cheesy. It's really delicious. Okay, next, we've got our melted uh, ghee or grass-fed butter. Now, you can even do just some coconut oil here as well. Just a little bit in there. I have got this fresh thyme that I'm gonna drop on here as well. I'm gonna do a little red pepper. These are my little red pepper flakes, so just a little bit, depending on how much you like. Definitely a little of that pink Himalayan salt. And then finally, let's get a little of that, oh, you know what? Hmm. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna redo this for just a second. I changed my mind. In my pan, <laughs> I usually, I almost forgot, in my pan, I want to just saute my garlic just for a minute. So I'm going to drop that in with the rest of that thyme and just give it a little saute with that butter. The heat of the pan is almost enough just to take a little of the sting out, right? We just don't want it to be too crazy and wild of a flavor with that heavy raw garlic. I turn it on for just a second. Snipping my chive leaves. This is actually one of the easiest ways to do chives. Just snip it. There we go. Okay, now, now we get the garlic butter. Could have done that with that original butter I put on there too. That would have been better. <laughs> Sometimes I get so excited to eat the popcorn, I forget what I'm doing. Anybody else ever do that? It's just me. I think we have a little storm coming in. It feels like uh, it feels like the internet's been a little wonky today. We're trying to go live earlier, and it feels like it just wasn't holding it very well. Okay, let's try this. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is my absolute favorite one. This is my favorite way to have popcorn. That salty, that savory. We're having garlic, which is great for the immune system. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I hope you guys try this popcorn. Uh, and now you know how to make stovetop popcorn. So throw out, oftentimes I say in, in this lockdown, use what you have in your pantry, right? This is definitely one of those cases where I say, don't use that microwave popcorn, throw it out. It's really just terrible for the system. Use fresh popcorn and, and just put it on the stove with a little oil. It's gonna be the best way to eat it. It's better for you this way. And you still get your snack. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions. I hope this works out for you. Thanks for joining me and um, wishing you all a whole bunch of love. Bye.